guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Witch's Moon. Yay! <laughs> this is the March Witch's Moon, and I actually just got it yesterday. Um, so I have only dabbled in like one of the items that came, and because there is a tea, and I'll get to that in a moment. Um, but everything's really beautiful, and I always love to do a review before I start messing with stuff <laughs> and using it um, just so you guys can kind of see what's in the box those people that are just kind of interested what's in the witch's uh, moon and um and then those people that maybe are interested in getting the witch's moon and if you are i will put a link to their shop down below if you're interested in the subscription but if not you know it's a wonderful idea um you know you could look at all wonderful things that are put inside you know and i think it would be um a great gift you know you can obviously diy <laughs> a lot of this stuff um to give to your friends and um i've actually done that myself so this month's witch's moon um the march uh, box is called ancient council it says our lives are filled with experiences that are beyond our control when these experiences impact our world we step back to understand the purpose behind it all we truly embrace the potent strength of accountability, responsibility, taking these experiences into our own hands so that we may grow and become bigger than ourselves. We do not wait for experiences to happen to us, but are prepared and take action to create the results that are channeled through our higher selves. We pay great respects while asking for ancient counsel from our guides so that they may show us signs and synchronicities that may guide us into victorious territory. We commit ourselves through practice and knowledge seeking so that we may cultivate a more intimate experience with our guides. In a world of so many uncertainties, we embrace our ability to sharpen our senses and become aware of potential threats and opportunities through the signs that are blessed to us by ancient counsel. Okay, and so um, I will actually just kind of quickly go through all the items that are in here, you know, one by one. Um, and as you know, they always give you a lovely piece of parchment paper to write down your intentions for the month or you know however you want to use it um I usually write down my intentions for the month and I actually don't burn it until the end of the month you know until you know my new box shows up or you know I feel like um that part has ended and it's time for me to burn it in my cauldron but um you know you guys do whatever you want if, <laughs> if you do get this box so the first thing that I pulled out oh my gosh it's the Winch's Pentacle Candle Holder. Um, wow, this is just, um, and as you can see, I already have a candle in it. Um, but this is beautiful. It says, um, this beautifully crafted pentacle candle holder is a great addition to our altar and will prove to enhance the depth of your ritual. The pentacle has been used as a sacred symbol for over 8,000 years uh, by many of the ancients, such as the Egyptians, Indians, Persians, and Greeks. So, uh, I am so happy to have this on my altar. It is beautiful. It is heavy. It is substantial. Um, I'm just always blown away by, you know, what they can cram into this box for, you know, the price of the subscription that I pay for. I'm like, how do they do that? <laughs> so I also received this beautiful velvet pouch, which has Elder Futhark runes inside. It says they have put together a set of runes with a large velvet pouch for sacred storage. These Elder Futhark runes have been burned into the poplar wood, known for its qualities of abundance, independence, and resilience. And then they go into runes and a simple uh, three rune reading. So let's go ahead and open this up so that you guys... Oh, I'm just going to pull out a few of them because they're rather large and I don't want them falling all over the place. So, but... Yay! Okay, so there is a pair of candles as you can see I have the other candle over there um, that came in this month's box and it's called magic of Merlin candle pair with spell we've created these sacred candles with the purpose of creating a stronger bond to the connection of spirit that brings forth ancient knowledge and guidance we have created two candles for you to use during your ritual these can be used one at a time or both as you see necessary for your intention um, so they have a spell um, uh, which they always do, and they usually wrap it around the candles, but this time, you know, since there's two, uh, they didn't do so. Um, let me just get in there so you guys can see. There's lots of good stuff happening with these candles, and they're a lot skinnier at the base, so I actually had to melt the base and stick it inside my candle holder so it wouldn't fall over. It says they have enchanted these candles with white sage around the base so that your ritual invites pure intention 
and communication and you can definitely see the pieces of white sage so yeah and it has lots of glitter too which makes it feel so much more magical um, next uh, they have this beautiful sigil and I've seen this before um, oftentimes in jewelry and I hope I'm gonna try to pronounce it but it's um, big vizier big vizier or big visor uh, veg visor <laughs> To accompany you on your journey of true purpose and fulfillment, we have concluded, included a hand-painted copy of our interpretation of the Vegweiser Magical Stave. Known as the Icelandic Wayfinder, this magical stave was created to assist us in finding our way through rough weather. Um, <laughs> and as you guys know, I am going through a patch of bad weather right now, so um, I will definitely be using this to find my way. Okay, next they have the Speak To Me Magical Oil. Let's get that little shake so you guys can see oh, all the goodies inside. This Speak To Me Magical Anointing Oil has been created with the intention of drawing forth signs and synchronicities into view. The signs are the whispers from the ancients within that are communicated to us throughout our lifetime. We have enchanted this magical oil with cinnamon and peppermint essential oils, and they have included mugwort, echinacea, and star anise as well. Um, there's also a Lemurian quartz in here said to personify oneness into your aura. They have also included a mixture of their divination magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. So let me just bring you into the good stuff. Next is the Spirit Calling Sacred Salt. As you sink into the beautiful aromas of the sacred salt, visualize a white light consuming your aura and expanding around you. Uh, they have enchanted the sacred salt with cinnamon and sweet orange essential oils, as well as peppermint leaf and orange peel. They've also added their divination magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. Let me just bring you guys in nice and close. And both of these scents, this scent and the Speak to Me magical oil, have a very masculine uh, smell to them. And this beautiful pouch came... Oh my gosh, this piece of red moss agate. So let me put the pouch down. You guys can get into this beautiful stone. Oh my gosh. You can see that it's got dimension to it. Like, you know, cause, well, agates are gorgeous, but it's, oh, there's so much going on inside this stone. I was like, what? Uh, moss agate has been a great addition to our practice while working to figure things out. The red moss agate, which is a more unlikely stone to find, is a fantastic harmonizer during hectic periods of life. Either a mess at work or in your personal life, this stone will help unlock guidance, helping you to make sense of things, making it easier to know just what to do. Along with being a stress relief stone, Moss Agate gives you the confidence to move forward knowing that you are in charge. Um, it, <laughs> it feels like this box in particular is speaking to me because there is so much going on, so much transition, going on in my life right now um i'm gonna need a little bit of that guidance a little bit of that strength they've also included a piece of holy wood palo santo um, which i have a lot of palo santo and uh sometimes i just love smelling the sticks of palo santo uh you know of course i burn them too but um i just i just love the scent of the wood itself um, so it's also known as the holy wood it's their absolute favorite energy to bring forth before and after ritual work you can use it to clear space. It's known for bringing uh, therapeutic healing power, which I need. And the beautiful aroma of the burning Palo Santo tree invokes protection and infuses blessings into your space and aura. Very apropos at this time. Okay, next is the Guided Vision Crimson Herbal Tea. So this I did already tap into. Um, I you know, can only drink herbal tea now. I can't have green tea, nothing with caffeine right now. Um, so I was like, I need to try this out and it was delicious. Um, this wonderful tea blend includes rooibos, hibiscus, currants, rose hips, elderberries, and cranberries. Um, oh, the cranberries, like it, it really makes this tea. Um, they've also given a, a little muslin bag over here so that you can steep your tea, but I used some muslin bags that I already have. Um, as you sip this hot tea and relax for meditation, practice the art of opening your mind and visualizing your goals. Allow solutions and ideas to naturally intervene. Break away the clutter and anxiety of everyday thoughts and concerns. 
Um, it's a great tea to drink before bed so that you can receive messages while you sleep. You guys can see in there that a lot of the hibiscus, there's elderberry in there, um, and definitely a lot of cranberry. Um, it's very, um, like fruity, but, um, very rich, rich taste. Next they have papa herb, also known as papaya leaf, and they include it in their brews when working to banish evil and create sacred space. Uh, you can use it to intensify relationships and connections with those close to you. You can include it in your bath or burn with powdered incense to reverse hexes and jinxes that have impacted your life so that you may grow into the blessings of the year. This one I'm a little hesitant to use because I'm only allergic to one thing in the world and that is papaya. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I, I don't you know, how my throat closed up or anything, but I do get um, hives. So I'll see how I can incorporate this that doesn't involve ingesting it or putting it on my skin or, I don't know, maybe maybe it's different if I burn it, but we'll see. Next we have Damiana leaf, and Damiana has long been used as a healing herb in Mexico and has gained fame for its aphrodisiac qualities. We like to use Damiana leaf in tantric magic, allowing us to conduct astral travel, deep meditation, and spiritual quests. Uh, when burned, Damiana breaks down mental barriers and inhibitors, allowing oneself to increase their psychic abilities and clairvoyance. This one is actually very plentiful where I live um, because I'm pretty close to the border of Mexico. So <laughs> uh, we have plenty of Damiana leaf around here. Uh, next, they have these, actually quite a few sticks of sandalwood incense. The beautiful complex scent of sandalwood has been used for deep meditation, consecration, and divinity since the beginning of time. Allow this beautiful scent to accompany you during your rituals so that you may connect with your guides and intuition through meditation and vision work. So, yes, I am, I am a fan <laughs> of the sandalwood. Okay, in every witch's moon, they also incorporate an oracle card. So everybody gets a different oracle card based off of... Um, what their the energy that they were feeling for that particular person that has the subscription and I think that that is such a personal touch and it's so wonderful um, so this particular oracle card comes from the wisdom of the Tao oracle cards by Mei Jin Lu um, which I <laughs> uh, my acupuncturist her first name is Mei which means beautiful in Mandarin um, but uh, my card was temptation and pitfall the desire for excess gain and accumulation leads to misfortune. The greatest contentment is in knowing when you have enough and all temptation is banished. Escape from the trap that imprisons you. Um, so this one is very personal to me um, and I don't see it as um, material goods, um, <laughs> but there's, well, as you guys know, there's um, so a stressful situation going on at work and I see it more as like obtaining a win more than like obtaining stuff and so um, that's definitely had an effect on my health, but as you know, uh, that's something that I'm working through, no longer trying to win, you know, the situation. So, um, this is a beautiful, beautiful message. All right. And then lastly, they have this runes piece of artwork, which I love. Yay! <laughs> and, um, I always think it's appropriate because the school I work at has like, it's everything is like Norsemen and Norse and Odin and, <laughs> um, you know, the, 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 even the magazine for the school or the school newspaper was called a uh, Ragnarok. And so, <laughs> um, yeah, this, this is great. And, uh, this is created by Adrian Alden exclusively for the witch's moon. Um, and so I'll definitely be putting this in my, uh, plastic picture frame and that way it can sit either on my altar or on top of my bookcase. But let me get in there so that you guys can really, really see the artwork here. And I love how it has all these little definitions for the runes. All right, so that's it, you guys. That was the witch's moon for March. That is ancient council. Let me know if you have any questions on any of this. Uh, put that in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to respond to you. Um, and again, if you are looking to get this subscription for yourself, um, then I have a link to their shop down below as well. 
And then those of you that are just maybe getting ideas for your own DIY boxes uh, that you want to, you know, send to friends or create for yourself, you know, by all means, um, uh, that's what I think the best thing about YouTube is, is that you can get ideas, you know, for doing things yourself. You don't always have to go out and go, you know, buy a subscription to something. You know, there's a lot of crafty people out there and you guys can create lots of awesome things. So if you guys have any questions for me, make sure you put that in the comment section down below. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell <laughs> for more videos just like this. If you guys want to catch a reading with me, don't forget to head to my Etsy shop, Kittens Weights Tarot. Um, I have a lot of beautiful readings that you can choose from. I'd be happy to work with you. Um, and head on over to patreon.com slash kittens weights and tarot to join the KWT tribe where together as a community we can create more and do more not only for you guys but for everybody else and you get some freebies in the process yay <laughs> so um that's it for me spiritual homies I will catch you later peace love and chicken grease peace out